Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an absolutely unique um, item, which should really be in, I suppose, the sort of Kent County archives. It's a little 34-page um, uh, journal of a 12-day holiday in Kent in 1848. It's been, I think, taken from a larger book. Some say it's been cut out of a larger book, but the whole thing is self-contained. It's the 12 days of a holiday. I think one word is missing, the word Kent. At the end of the holiday, it said, we, had a one we have had a wonderful holiday in, and the word Kent is missing. I, I think it's incomplete otherwise. Um, there are accounts at the start um, of what money was spent on, coaching trips, etc. There are some details of stately homes written at the front, but basically it's a day-by-day -day account of setting up off from London, going to Bromley, uh, to Greenwich via omnibus, then series of coaches through Kent to St. Mary Cray, Orpington, staying at various, various sort of, um, I suppose, lodging houses in Kent, um, in Sevenoaks, in Shoreham. Um, uh, it, it, it's um, uh, uh, harvest time, talking about the corn coming in talking about gathering nuts and fruit in the lanes. It's an idyllic uh, um, trip. There's a coach crash at one stage. Somebody injures their hand when a, 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 a coach hits into the local post wagon. Um, it is all about the travel, the stay, the sights, the things they see. They go to Knoll Park, the stately home. It's written by a man. He talks about smoking a cigar at some stage. Um, they go to Knoll Park, the stately home, and he talks about the silver furniture, which impresses him. It's all about gentlemen's seats, visits to country houses, um, just what you'd expect um, of somebody recording an idyllic 12-day holiday in uh, rural Kent in 1848. Absolutely unique. The pages are loose there, but it's all complete. 34 pages. Extremely rare. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.